Okay, now it's time to slice your file and get it ready to actually print. So we'll start with the Tinkercad item. And I'm going to go to export. I'm going to make sure it's everything in my design. And that's because I want everything. Sometimes you'll want just a part of the design and you can click on it and then just select the shapes. And we're going to export it as an STL file. If we watch, it'll pop up here and it's in my downloads folder now. Next, we're going to launch Cura by Ultimaker. So Ultimaker Cura, I launch that. And it will take me, whoops, right back over to Cura. Once in Cura, I'm going to open the file that I downloaded. And in my downloads folder is this assistant builder right there. So I open that bad boy up. I can click with two fingers on the build plate and look at it. If I look on the bottom, I want this all to be blue, which means that it's touching the bottom. If it's not, it means it's floating in space. It's not going to print right. So I will also double check. This is our SVO 6 plus printer profile. So that's correct. This is generic PLA. PLA is the type of filament we're using. That's awesome. And we'll default We'll start with extra fast. If it's not set to extra fast, you can just pick the profile here. And later, once you dialed in your print, if you're doing a final print, you could do maybe a fine or normal in the future. But for now, we're just doing extra fast because it's the first time we're printing stuff. So now I've got this all set. I am going to grab a micro SD card, which I pulled out of the printer. And I'm going to put it into the adapter and I'm going to put it right into my computer now so there we go and a moment now it showed up here the printer right there so I'm going to slice this slicing is going to take my file and make it into thin little slices so that we can send it to the printer and the printer will print it if we wanted to preview it this is showing it's going to add a brim around the outside, make it stick to the plate better. And over here, we can look at it building one layer at a time. So we're all happy with this. We hit save to removable drive, and it will save it to my thumb drive that I just put in there. Well, not thumb drive, sorry, SD card. And now I can hit eject. It's safe to remove it. I can pull that micro SD card out now and go put it in the printer and it's time to actually print. Now that you've sliced your file, saved it to your micro SD card and removed it from the adapter, it's time to get it printed. So over on the side, we'll turn on the power button. I will grab this card right here, trying not to touch the metal pins and I'm going to place it right into here. If I get it right, it will go in almost all the way and it's going to be straight. If I have it backwards, what will happen is it's going to sit crooked. So I put it in with the pins facing towards me and then I have to push it in and it will click. That's fully inserted. Now that it's fully inserted, I come over to this pad and I'm going to select the file, this assistant builder tag, and I'll hit print. And if you watch on the bottom right now, the bed is supposed to come up to 60 degrees Celsius and you'll see it's starting to warm up the bed, 27, and it will keep warming up. Once that comes up to temperature, over here you'll watch the nozzle warm up and it will have it set temp. Once the nozzle and the bed are up to temp, it will start to print. And now you just hang out, sit back and make sure that the printing is going good. Especially in the beginning, when it first prints the first few layers, things could not stick properly and it will go horribly wrong. So you need to keep an eye on it for at least the few, first few layers. That's all, hope it goes well.